Alright guys, so I'm going to redo my Bitdefender traffic light test. The reason being is I received a comment on YouTube regarding the way I tested Bitdefender, and I kind of have to agree with it. It was basically criticizing the fact that I ran the executables after I entered the URL into the browser. Now the reason I did that was because I figured that would have been the most accurate test in a sense of that's what the user would have done, a novice user, and that's how I kind of gear my tests around. And so I figured that's what they would have done. The second reason is kind of entertainment purposes. I thought that the machine would have gotten more infected and you would have gotten to see something maybe possibly ransomware or in a fake AV, something popping up on the screen. That would have made the video more interesting. I realized that executing the malware has no correlation to Bitdefender whatsoever, and I think I mentioned that in there, stating that it doesn't really matter that the malware was being executed, because this is a URL filter in a sense. It's really supposed to just kind of be a first line of defense blocking you from accessing a malicious website. So that's kind of, I hope that makes sense to you guys, and that's the reason why I did what I did on that test, but I kind of want to have a fair test for everything and do the same tests for let's say McAfee Site Advisor or Web of Trust when I redo those. So we're going to end up redoing the Bitdefender test today. So now that that's out of the way, we can actually get into the test. So looking at the website here and looking at what the program does, it uh, has an advanced malware filter as well as protects you against phishing attacks, trackers, and links such as in Facebook or Twitter. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you here when you search for something such as screensavers through Google, Yahoo, any major search provider that is supported by Bitdefender, you will get these green circles that we can call traffic lights, I guess, since it's the name of the program, uh, otherwise yellow or red depending on the rating of the website. Uh, clicking on these circles will bring you to a detailed analysis of the specific page. If it will load, states I'm connected, but it's not loading. Why is it not loading? <laughs> this is not part of the test. Hmm, it should be loading. There we go. Okay, so then it gives you basically a detailed analysis of the specific page and what the content of it, if it's malicious or, or safe. So that's pretty good. Now, if you've watched my Web of Trust video, you would have seen that a lot of these web websites, when you search for screensavers, are in the red category or categorized as uh, use extreme caution by the user. Uh, I understand Web of Trust is a community-based type of rating system, whereas is, whereas is Bitdefender is a proprietary piece of software, and Bitdefender and their employees and technicians end up making the rating systems from what I understand. So let's go ahead and get into the test. You can see right up here, we'll take a look at the uh, plugin first before we get into the test. Go to settings, we have an advanced phishing filter, malware filter, search results analyzer, and anti-fraud filter, Facebook and Twitter perfect protection. All of our, all are blah, blah, all are on except for the Facebook and Twitter protection. So now we will go ahead and get into the test here. Now, like I said, we're just going to we aren't going to download the programs this time. We are going to just run the URL, and that is going to be it. Uh, and also, I'm going to expand my search or my test to 15 URLs versus 10 URLs because I figured that'd be a uh, more accurate test and give us a more accurate result. So this is going to be link number one, maybe. Okay, link number one. Okay, so it could not find that one. Uh, let's go to link number one again here. That one is also dead. That's going to be dead too because it's the same URL. Hmm, we might just end up going to um, okay, that one's not working, or at least it was actually like that. Yeah, that one is working. This is actually an exploit here, it looks like. Oh, wait, nope, never mind. That was blocked by Bitdefender. 
Very good. Okay, so link number one is blocked. Uh, they tried to redirect me or some sort of, looked like some sort of redirect, probably an exploit. But nevertheless, Bitdefender has succeeded in blocking that. So perfect. Link number one has been blocked. We're going to go link number two here. Let's close that out, open a new tab, make sure we get an even result. Okay, this file is categorized as malicious through Google. We are going to um, basically count that as a miss on Bitdefender's part because if I wanted to, I could um, download the file. So that was a miss on Bitdefender. Okay, that one is also missed. Number four, we will do one more here. Oh, hello. We'll do one more through our malware domain list and then move on to, okay, so that one's also missed. We're gonna move on to Melcode now. Try and get a very wide range of results. Or I should say sources, not results. Okay. Okay, so that one was downloaded. Because the executable is right there, standing by to be ran, that is going to be a miss. Okay. Yeah, let's do, we'll do this one right here. Okay, the executable is downloading, meaning it got past the web filter. So that is also a miss. This is number seven. We're going to be up to number seven here. Okay, number seven has also is being downloaded. That was a miss. Let's try this one right here. Okay, so that one was also a miss. We're gonna go ahead and move on to malware blacklist now. Okay. That was also missed. Whoops. An extra character there. All right. That one was missed. Uh, we'll try, try this one right here. Okay. So Bitdefender blocked that one. Number 11 was blocked. Close that out. So we can get a fresh page. Okay, so that one was blocked. Number 12. Close that, open a new one. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll choose this one right here. Give it a little while. Okay, I'm going to count that as a miss. Close that out, open a new tab. Okay, number 14 was blocked. And last but not least, this will be number 15. Pretty quick test. And we'll select we'll select this one right here. A little low on the list. And we're not testing um, Google's uh, anti malware filter, so we're gonna proceed. Looks like the uh, URL is dead. So we will proceed to another one. And that file was missed. So let's see, we have blocked one, two, three, four out of 15. Four out of 15 have been blocked. Not that good. It was better than the result earlier of one blocked, but it's still not that good of a result. So final verdict on Bitdefender traffic light here. It performed not well in my mind. It could have done a lot better. 
for them advertising it as an advanced malware filter, in my mind, I would expect it to be doing a lot better. If it could have blocked, let's say, five or six more, I, I would consider it and say that it would be a decent program and that I might be able to recommend running it as a kind of a second line of defense, in a sense, on your computer alongside your antivirus, which you should also, may I mention, run an antivirus with this. Do not rely on this as your primary defense. This is just a small little plugin that is kind of a second opinion to prevent malicious activity from entering through the browser. So I can't recommend the program, unfortunately. It didn't really perform that well. So hope you guys like this version a lot better. Uh, I apologize for the previous way I carried out the test. I hope this uh, style of testing works out better for you guys. Once again, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want me to redo the video again, um, I'll consider it, I guess. Uh, let me know what you want for testing or what you, you know, a certain way you want me to test it. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later and most likely uh, sometime soon be doing Site Advisor and Web of Trust and any other browser plugins that you may want me to test. So, talk to you guys later.